Well, it's lunch time, so I'm not sure how much energy I can infuse. <laughs> but thank you. Mr. Tata, sir, it's always an honor sharing some space with you. It's uh, truly a delight. In fact, uh, we were together at another event uh, at Adi Batla, where uh, because of uh, this living legend's vision, today India is proud host, Hyderabad is proud host of manufacturing Apache helicopter fuselage, aerostructures. In fact, we are also the proud host city where United States President's helicopter cabin is also manufactured because of Tata Advanced Systems Limited's partnership with Sikorsky, Boeing, Lockheed, GE, number of other aerospace and defense majors. So, sir, it's always an honor to have, to have you back in our city, to have you back in our state. I think it was about two and a half years ago when our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri K. Chandra Shekhar Rao Garu, had proudly said to everybody's delight that Tata's, in fact, are not only, we don't just look at you as India's brand ambassador across the world, sir. We also believe that with the kind of support, with the kind of blessing and continued guidance you have given us, the state of Telangana also looks at you as a huge brand ambassador, a huge guide and a huge supporter. Thank you very much for your kindness. Thank you very much for your support and thank you very much for everything that you do for us. Let me also point out one fact. I think, subject to correction, of course, Venkat, Tata's, I think, have their second largest employee base outside of Jamshedpur in the city of Hyderabad, sir. That is because of TCS having a large presence, because Tata Projects is headquartered here. Now, Tassels, 98% of the business also is happening in Hyderabad. So the group of companies that the Tata, uh, rep, uh, the Tata brand name represents has a huge presence in our state, and we thank you for your continued support. And now, through this initiative, the initiative of a, 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 a remarkable and a path-breaking partnership between Tata Trust and Government of Telangana, we are now trying to accomplish something which is truly in my opinion, much needed and truly a remarkable feat, if you ask me, because cancer, as we all know, has been one of the biggest, one of the most worried, one of the most uh, feared uh, conditions, medical conditions across the globe. But more so in India, in fact, we just saw the numbers. Telangana, in fact, has possibly the fourth highest number in the country in terms of cancer incidence. Now, as a government, as a responsible government, we have embarked on a very, very ambitious initiative and today, under the leadership of our Health Minister, Dr. Lakshma Reddy Garu, the entire Health Department, entire team Shanti Kumari Garu, Karuna Garu, we have embarked on something extremely important for the state. But so let me also point out to one quick thing before I go any further. In fact, about two years ago, on the 5th of November, 2015, you have inaugurated India's largest technology incubator in Hyderabad called as T-Hub. A lot of people have asked me. We had to wait for a couple of months because you were going through a bit of a, a problem with your health. Uh, you, you had undergone something and you had to recuperate from it. So we waited for you for a couple of months. A lot of people have asked me. A lot of people said, why are you so keen on Mr. Ratan Tata inaugurating your facility, this largest incubator, largest innovation hub? So when you hear the word Tata, when somebody mentions the name Tata, it is for decades in our country it has been synonymous with large robust structures such as steel, locomotives, automotives, etc. But recently when we see you in the last four to five years, you are 70 plus is what I thought but I've just been told you turned 80, Many, my congratulations. A young man like you, with your youthful exuberance, making all these investments into startups. You just told me that you listen to at least four to five startup pitches every week. That's invigorating. So that's the kind of transformation which is sweeping India today. The kind of transformation which now your name and yourself represent is what I wanted to ensure that the entire country realizes and the entire country metamorphoses into. That's why I was keen on having you inaugurated, sir, and today 
I'm happy to share with you. In the last two years, Hyderabad's startup ecosystem has shaped really well. In fact, it grew from having about 200 odd startups to 2,000 plus startups today. Recently, in fact, at the World Economic Forum in Davos, we had one of our incubators, the T-Hub incubators, which you uh, so generously inaugurated, had won a circular award at the WEF as well. And we're looking forward to now going to the scale-up stage. And with your continued support and guidance, I'm sure that will also happen. Our health minister, Dr. Lakshmariti, is a very modest man. He does not talk about a lot of remarkable achievements that have been made by our health department. So let me quickly share with you some of the remarkable things that are happening in Telangana on the health front. Health, typically health and education, are typically subjects that are not given the priority that they need to be accorded by many, many governments in our country. But under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, under the able guidance of our Health Minister, Dr. Reddy, we've started some remarkable things and the results are coming in just now, sir. Let me share with you a couple of statistics, sir, just, to, just, to, uh, just for you to make mental notes, maybe. So for the first time in our country, we as a government in our government institutions have even started transplanting We've, we've started uh, transplant operations and transplant surgeries for heart, for liver, and even renal transplants are being done in Telangana in government institutions for the first time in the history of this state. <laughs> Likewise, sir, our government network hospitals today, more than 40 of them, have been set up, have been, in fact, in a public-private partnership mode, have been instituted with dialysis centers for renal patients with, patients with kidney-related ailments. More than 20 new ICUs, intensive care units, have been set up in the state of Telangana. And more than 10 ICUs focused exclusively on children and neonatal, uh, for neonatal care also have been set up in the state of Telangana. Let me also share with you, sir, because of our initiatives like KCR kit, which you just saw, about 12 or 13 different things being given, the ob objects being given to the newborn child and also the mother. The IMR, infant mortality rate in Telangana has come down significantly. In fact, I believe the latest number is around 31%. From 38%, it has dipped significantly to 31%. It could be going even lower, in fact, in days to come, according to the national, um, national reports that are published on this front. Also, the number of institutional deliveries has gone up sharply from by about 31 to 50 percent. The number of women who have come back reposing their faith in public health care systems for delivering their child has gone up by 31 to 50 percent. And also, sir, let me point out, the unwanted caesarean operations, caesarean surgeries that are done typically in the private sector have come down sharply, ensuring that many, many mothers who have just given birth to a newborn child are also taken care of and their health is also taken care of, and as a result, even maternal mortality rate, MMR, has come down significantly as well. We are the first state in the country, in fact, to have started a couple of wonderful initiatives. Under the leadership of our health minister, we've, we are starting off now, we'll, we are prospecting free diagnostic services across the state as well. We are also, in fact, one of the few states which has gone into areas which typically are not talked about, palliative care, hospice, and also fertility reproductive medicine and fertility centers, again, within the network of government hospitals for the first time in India. No other state has even broached this subject. Now, so coming to eye care, which, you, which, was, which was just pointed out, people talk about technologies. People talk about emerging technologies quite a bit, like artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning. All of these are fancy terminologies being used extensively off late. For the first time in the state of Telangana. We've started, along with Education Department and Health Department, in partnership with Microsoft. We've started a massive eye screening campaign for young children in primary schools. Idea is, combining artificial intelligence and machine learning, we want to be able to detect any possible future eye-related disorders so we can prevent preventable blindness in young children in the state of Telangana. This is a first-of-its-kind initiative. I'm sure this will become a role model for the rest of the country as well. Same is the case with the larger population, which our Honorable Chief Minister's vision is to ensure 
that preventable blindness in the state of Telangana, irrespective of age, young children, or any age or any gender for that matter, we should be able to screen them in a time-bound manner, as was pointed out by the Health Secretary. In about 100 days, a plan has been prepared, and we believe that the entire state can be covered by way of this initiative also. Now, coming to another important initiative, which the state government has embarked on, we have launched a massive program, sort a drinking water project with $8 billion, nearly 53,000 crores of rupees, to give a portable drinking water connection to each and every one of our one crore homes in the state of Telangana. So as you know, most of the diseases are waterborne. Nearly 80% of the diseases are waterborne. Once Telangana becomes the first state in India to provide comprehensive portable drinking water connection by way of a project called Mission Bagirat, we will not only be taking care of the waterborne diseases. In a district which is very close from here, where, where we are sitting, a district called Nalgonda, in the last five decades, more than 200,000 people, more than 2 lakh people, have been crippled with fluorosis, by skeletal fluorosis. Even that problem will be taken care of in the state of Telangana, and no future, no person born in the future generation would ever be crippled by way of this unfortunate artificial manifestation, which was unfortunately not taken care of in the past, but now this government has embarked on an initiative called Mission Bagirat, which will take care of that. So as part of this project, Mission Bagirat, the Telangana drinking water grid, when we realized that we had to lay nearly 150,000 kilometers of new pipeline, we also said, what else could we combine in the same trench? We said we could potentially combine four things. We could lay the water pipeline, we could, we could lay the pipe gas, we could also lay electricity cables, and we could also combine communication cables in the same trench so that we save costs on trenching it over and over. But because of constraints of capital and also resources, we had to confine ourselves to laying two things in the same trench. So Telangana will not only be the first state in India to be giving a portable drinking water connection to the 10 million homes or 1 crore homes, so we will also be the first state in India where each and every home would have a 15 Mbps broadband connection directly plugged in to their dumb television sets into every single home. And for the institutions at the village level, be it a primary healthcare center or an Anganwadi or a primary school or a high school or even the village farmer cooperative building, we would be providing them with a 1, G, 1 GB connection. So for the institutions, it's a 1 gigabit connection. For the individual homes, it would be a 15 Mbps connection. A country like India, sir, our Honorable Chief Minister, never fails to remind us. He always talks about the power of technology and how we can leverage it. India, at this point in time, in my humble opinion, sir, cannot, does not have the luxury to leapfrog. We have only the luxury or only the option to pole vault and ensure that we join the first world countries, especially on two fronts, health and education. And for that to happen, leveraging this technology, the 15 Mbps connection to each and every home, leveraging this massive network of primary health care centers, which are going to be equipped with a one gigabit connection, and leveraging telemedicine, leveraging e-medicine, is extremely crucial so that we can provide affordable and accessible health care to each and every citizen of our country. So we've also embarked on a very ambitious initiative along with Tata's, Tata Trust, of digitizing the health records of our citizens. In my humble opinion, sir, and I'm sure my health minister, our health minister, would certainly concur, we should get to a stage as a country where each and every person's health record with basic details, blood group, medical preconditions, maybe some allergies, etc., combined with Aadhaar, the fingerprint, and the iris, should be captured and should be put on a cloud network so that every single hospital, be it private or public, has access to it. Say in the unfortunate event of an emergency, when a person is rushed into a hospital, all you should seek or all you should need is possibly the iris or the fingerprint, either of which, which should then pull up the health record and the golden hour as they talk about, or as they call it, would definitely, the, the, the golden hour in which you are supposed to save a person's life, would certainly, you would certainly be able to accomplish that. The digitization of health records is a very ambitious initiative which we've started. 
and which is ongoing in about 10 to 12 districts, I believe. Four districts, four districts, four districts out of the 31 in Telangana. I would request, Mr. Tata, of your support and your blessing to ensure that we scale up quickly and cover every single citizen, the four crore citizens in Telangana, and in a time-bound manner complete it and be that state in India which becomes a role model and a pioneer for everybody on the healthcare front. The second request I had of you, sir. Today, there's much laudable initiative of a partnership between the state of Telangana and Tata Trust to ensure that oral cancers, breast cancers, and also cervical cancers are detected early. We all know while cancer is much dreaded, we also know that early detection can certainly help, and early detection can certainly prevent further growth of a cancerous tissue. My request to you, sir, while the state government does have a network of hospitals, the MNJ Cancer Hospital, and also our government hospitals across the state, and also our area hospitals across the state, I would request of you, sir, to help us come out with an L1, L1 Greenfield facility, maybe somewhere close to Hyderabad, so that we can leverage not only technology, but also physical infrastructure and set up something truly world-class and outstanding right here in the state of Telangana. Once again, sir, I thank you sincerely on behalf of the government of Telangana, myself and our health minister and also our honorable chief minister, who unfortunately could not be here because he's away from the capital. My sincere thanks to you and your entire team of Tata Trust. And once again, I would like to place my sincere appreciation for you and your entire team for taking the time out, to you and Venkat, to the entire team for taking the time out, blessing, with, blessing us, and also for continuing to shower your guidance and support on all friends, not just health. Thank you very much for this opportunity.